morning and welcome to Cliffy Land, the Global Cooking Challenge. Welcome to night four of cooking the food of the United Kingdom, which on our process of working our way through all 193 United Nations member states in our four year learn to cook challenge as we work our way from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe is week number 184 of 193. Tonight is the fourth and final night of cooking the food of the United Kingdom. Tonight we are going to be doing the food of Wales. Wales, and we are simulcasting on Periscope and Meerkat. Uh, hello, uh, thank you for joining us, Frank and Ms. Lee on Periscope. Uh, so, uh, the we've already done our prep, so let me get the Meerkat people situated. One moment, hey, that's my big head. Hello, how you doing? Uh, let me get a stand for you so you don't fall down, go boom. Uh, and uh, tonight we are doing, uh, making a uh, chicken and leek pie with a, a Welsh rarebit. And leeks are quite the thing in Wales. And uh, so let me get some movement here so we can uh, get things going. Howdy. That's my big head. Okay, um, the Periscope people, as always, will be getting the bird's eye view uh, from over the top of the stove as we work. But again, we're making a chicken and leek pie, uh, which is, uh, we're actually going to be making chicken and leek pies. They're going to be smaller than uh, normal uh, because of uh, the size of the puff pastry, which we got. Not something I'm used to dealing with. Uh, since I'm not really a baker. Again, this is my four-year Learn to Cook Challenge. Tonight we're doing the food of whales. Uh, so, let us get started. We're going to move the Periscope people over the stove. Hey there, how you doing? Um, mm -mm, Zaki, greetings. And, okay, so you stand by for troop movement here. You're gonna go over the top of the stove so you get the bird's eye view. Hello, Derek. Greetings. Better make sure ah, y'all can see. There we go. Hope that works for you. Once you stop wobbling. And you, over here. We've got to get moving. So we have uh, done our prep work already on this. To, the oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very hot, which is making it even hotter here in South Florida. I'm drinking a beer. I had to open a beer for the dish, and I figured don't let good alcohol go to waste. So, uh, we are going to start off in the saucepan here, and we're going to add. Now, I've divided this uh, recipe in half because there's only two of us eating, and that always tends to be an issue uh, on this end. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm taking pictures, pictures are always for the blog. The blog is at cliffyland.com. Blogs are posted on Wednesday. They have information about uh, the countries, links to the original recipes, links to the videos that you're watching right here, uh, and reviews how everything went. In this case, it's going to be covering uh, all four nights of cooking the food of the United Kingdom uh, because uh, this dates back to last Tuesday when we cooked England uh, a week ago today. Normally do this every week, but due to extenuating circumstances and the fact the United Kingdom is four separate countries, we did that. Good evening to you, Derek. So we've just put in our uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs into our skillet here. And again, I just got two because I have this recipe. And so uh, picture time, smile pretty. Okay. And now we're gonna add to that our peppercorns. Uh, thank you for the like, Derek. These are uh, four peppercorns, very tiny. And we're gonna add our diced onion. I used a very, very small onion this time. Uh, because again, I halved the recipe on this. Oh, I apologize to anyone on Periscope who I don't see their comments before I look up. Uh, when they say, thanks, thank you very much for the hearts. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've added the onions and then uh, we're going to add the bay leaf which is sitting over here hello little bay leaf okay in you go 
and then we're going to cover that with milk. And I got whole milk for this. So hopefully there'll be enough. And away we go. There's enough to cover, so whatever whole milk I have is gonna cover it. And what doesn't uh, will be um, low fat. So we're gonna. So we'll have a half and half here. So we're trying to cover this in milk. Uh, again, I've done half, I'm doing half the recipe here because uh, it serves, allegedly serves, how many people? Uh, was it six? No, eight, one, two, three. So, yeah, six people and I've cut it in half. So I can handle, because since we're only two people eating, uh, I can handle uh, serving three and having leftovers, but not six. Okay, so now uh, we're going to uh, bring this to a boil over here and then uh, let that simmer for 25 minutes. Set timer for 25 minutes. Uh, let that cook. And while it does that, I'm glad you Periscope people can see uh, both burners here, despite the fact you're over on one side. Got a slightly diagonal view there. Um, while that does that, then we're going to get moving over here to our skillet. And um, I realize I can put that on here because nothing touched that. Okay, uh, we have bacon and I bought, uh, I guess the British call them rashers of bacon. I was not aware of that. We just call them strips of bacon. Uh, I went to the fresh market uh, so I was able to get individual strips instead of having to open a package of, you know, your generic Oscar Mayer bacon. So we're going to take that and we're going to melt in our skillet here on a low heat the uh, one tablespoon of butter here and uh, we're going to cook the bacon in the butter. This is not a low fat meal. Uh, in fact, uh, my body is still getting used to uh, having consumed uh, three days worth of British food with bacon and all sorts of other good stuff. Uh, usually I don't eat food quite this heavy so uh, my body's adjusting. So, uh, we're melting the butter, we're going to fry the bacon in that. Let me uh, mark off where I am so I don't lose track, because I do that so easily. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. And uh, butter, okay. So, we're going to fry the bacon in here, and then once that is uh, fried, then we're going to add the leeks which we have one leak. It said two, I've done one. Uh, I've cut them into discs. In order to clean the leaks, I had to kind of cut, obviously cut the ends off and then um, do in a crosshatch pattern and run it under water because you know they get dirt inside. So making uh, little discs of the leaks entirely wasn't uh, really in the offing, uh, but I did for a good degree. And I don't know what happened to my uh, Welsh music. Somehow the stream decided to go sideways on me. Okay, people. Hopefully that will fix the situation. So we are melting our butter. And how is everybody doing today? We are coming to you from Jupiter, Florida, which is uh, on, in South Florida on the eastern, on the Atlantic side. It is about two hours north of Miami, about an hour north of Fort Lauderdale, about half an hour north of West Palm Beach, uh, known for a famous lighthouse and uh, various celebrity people who live in the neighborhood or in the town and such. So we are waiting for this to come to a boil. Uh, thank you for joining us on Periscope. It's very nice of you. We are, again, this is the four year learn to cook challenge uh, where I started in September of 2012 not knowing how to boil water and then uh, working my way around the world, one country, one week at a time uh, to learn to cook. We are nearing the end of this, as you can tell, this being week 184 of 193. Uh, we are making plans for, uh, hey there, uh, Mr. Fun. Greetings. Uh, so once that is, uh, butter is melted, we're gonna turn up the heat a little bit and we're gonna put in our bacon here. Uh, I'm not a big bacon lover, so this is more bacon than I eat in like a year. 
So, but you know, you do what you do for the, uh, for the love of the game. Okay. And there, let me wash my hands for a second. So, uh, but we are making plans for phase two of the challenge once we hit Zimbabwe, which will be at the end of uh, July. Thank you again for the hearts. Uh, once we hit Zimbabwe at the end of July, we're going to turn this down to simmer over here. Uh, we're going to do some bonus countries and territories that are not United Nations member states in order to get the world covered. Hello, Anthony Gilmore. We're doing your neck of the woods here, aren't we? And, and, and we have Worcestershire sauce. Our friend Anthony here is from, was it Worcester? Worcester? Worcestershire. Worcester, 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 Worcestershire. There, I think I got that right this time. Um, so uh, we're gonna fry up our bacon. This is big, long pieces of, of the bacon here. And uh, so we're letting this simmer for uh, 25 minutes. Actually, it's gonna be another 20 minutes more while we do this. And then we're gonna make our Welsh rarebit, uh, which is um, basically melted cheese uh, with some good stuff in it and uh, that is going to be served on toast or toast points as it were. Um, I'll get into um, the details on the Welsh rarebit um, later when we uh, get into cooking that which will be in this skillet here. Uh, do, do, do. So again, I apologize to anyone on Periscope where I don't see the comments before they go away uh, if I'm looking down, but thank you for the hearts. Um, so yes, uh, I was um, in a little bit of a quandary doing uh, the food. Yummy Worcestershire sauce. Yes, or Wor Wor Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Say it ten times fast. Um, uh, yes, I have that sitting over there uh, for our Welsh rare bit a little bit later. Um, so, uh, but apparently uh, in Wales, a uh, number of national dishes, uh, but um, I am confounded, as I am with so many countries, when trying to decide what to cook. Sometimes there's too many things to pick from, sometimes there's too few, uh, sometimes there are plenty of things to pick from, but they're not in the categories of things that I am going to be cooking. Uh, be they all breads, or pastries, or desserts. I don't really do uh, desserts or pastries or breads, although I have done a number of flatbreads and a couple breads along the way, uh, but not too many. Um, also, the uh, another challenge is now that I'm doing the live streaming, uh, it limits some options uh, because it's not exciting to watch a stew sit on the stove for six hours. Uh, call, I believe it's called, C-A-U-L, if I'm not mistaken, I may be mistaken. Uh, one of these sort of national dishes of Wales uh, is, uh, a, you know, what you'd call a peasant dish, uh, where the meat would be boiled and then it would sit overnight and then uh, they'd be cooked in with leeks and carrots and celery and such, and it would be sort of a soup the first night uh, after sitting overnight, and then as the days progress, it would be a stew. Uh, we don't have that kind of time here. Um, so I needed something I could do in one day. And uh, that made things tricky. In terms of the history of whales and food, uh, as with a uh, number of places, things change over time. Uh, so here's one we prepared earlier. Indeed, that's kind of how they do on the cooking shows. Uh, we, uh, in, 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 we're, uh, we're live. We don't have uh, someone to do one, you know, we don't have two dishes. One for now, one for later. One that I do the day before to go, ta-da. Hello, Crystal, thank you for liking the restream. So we are rendering our bacon here while we are boiling down our uh, chicken, boneless, skinless chicken thighs in our milk over on our second burner behind you if you're a meerkat. Um, yeah, but uh, well, once we hit Zimbabwe, we're going to do some bonus countries that are not United Nations member states. Bonus countries, territories, slash disputed states. Uh, I'm imagining that's going to be Palestine, Vatican City, Kosovo, Western Sahara, um, uh, maybe uh, Taiwan, Tibet. Uh, 
and uh, then uh, Puerto Rico, somewhere in the midst of all that. That's me, I'm Puerto Rican, those are my people. I've invited family from Puerto Rico to come over for one big final, you know, yeehaw, Puerto Rican hoedown. Um, and that would be a contradiction in terms, but still. Uh, and then we're going to be going away for a couple weeks, uh, take some much needed time off, and then come back. And uh, we will begin phase two of the challenge uh, in the fall. We're going to be uh, doing a YouTube videos, uh, short form YouTube videos, in addition to the live streaming. So please uh, go to YouTube and search for Cliffy Land. Like, uh, so rather subscribe to our YouTube channel. That would be groovy. Uh, need more likes so I can get the uh, custom URL on that. Uh, but we'll be doing uh, short form videos. Uh, for those who don't feel like sticking around for two hours to watch a live stream. And then, uh, I'm going to turn this down some more. Uh, but now we're going to add our leeks to our bacon, am I right? Yes. Let's try that again. And we're going to let those soften for a bit. Delete. Um, but uh, we're going to do the short form videos. We're working on an introductory video for the uh, for the YouTube channel, which will uh, sort of introduce everyone to the concept. And also, I'll be looking for help from many of our lovely viewers who are giving the lovely hearts on uh, Periscope right now uh, regarding what it is uh, that you would be interested in seeing in terms of the short form videos. Uh, would you be looking for strictly for recipes, information on the screen? Uh, with the measurements, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, or a little more kind of reflection on how things went throughout the night, information about the country's uh, trivia, etc. Uh, anything that you uh, feel like offering on that behalf would be most welcome. Also, we are on Facebook and on Twitter and on Tumblr and on Instagram and on Pinterest, and uh, you can just search for Cliffy Land. I'm at Cliffy Land on Twitter facebook.com slash cliffyland on Facebook, etc., etc., on your social media platform of choice. So we're softening our leeks while our, uh, this goes for another 13 minutes in there. And I'm getting mighty warm because this stove is very hot. It's like a million percent humidity here in South Florida today. Went out running this morning at 5 in the morning. It was already 80 degrees Fahrenheit in the dark with like 90% humidity and lightning. So that made uh, made me run faster. Just trying not to get struck by lightning. But it's been like this all day. Walked outside and the glasses immediately, completely steam up. Can't see a foot in front of my face. Take off the glasses and I still can't see a foot in front of my face. So. Things happen. Um, I done did a bad thing, um, but I can remedy it. Uh, the bacon needed to be cut, uh, and I did not slice it in my haste going into this. But uh, worry not, there's always another way because uh, we have our kitchen shears and we can cut these. It's supposed to be postage stamp sized, so I just don't want to scratch my nonstick here, but other than that, all is not lost. I've learned to not freak out nearly as much as I used to until the next time I freak out. Okay, you get up here. Again, I apologize if I don't see your comments on Periscope. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, that's the other part. Uh, for phase two of the challenge, uh, we will be leaving Meerkat, if we don't do it before then, and switching over to the new streaming app called Busker. B-U-S-K-E-R. Uh, at present, it is uh, iPhone only. Um, I, I'm sure they're working on an Android version right now. Uh, so uh, that is where we will be. Uh, for one of the two live streams that we'll be doing. I assume we'll continue on Periscope as we have. 
Uh, so, check that out. If you haven't gotten Busker uh, yet, do it. It's cool. Uh, it has the same sort of flyaway comment situation that Periscope does, but maybe not quite as fast. Oh, it's funny watching this recipe. Uh, I agree with you, much calmer than it used to be. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh me. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, maybe it's the beer talking. Just saying. Ay, bendito. Oh, oh boy. I can't stand the heat. Ah. Uh. Okay, so these seem to have softened uh, a good deal, so I'm going to turn this to low uh, for the next few minutes while uh, this uh, um, the chicken is uh, going to be ready. Uh, Renaz? Is it Renaz? I have really lousy vision. Uh, greetings. Thank you for the like. So uh, we have our milk, uh, our chicken cooking in the milk over here with onions and peppercorns and the bay leaf. Let me flip this chicken, make sure it gets cooked on both sides. There. Uh, this, uh, just basically a chicken, it's gonna be dark meat chicken the could be legs or thighs. I've gone with boneless, skinless thighs because, because. Um, and uh, this is gonna be taken out and flaked, as it were. Uh, so we'll be employing a fork and uh, ow, probably our shears again for that. Uh, and this new site, not all cool because I don't do iOS. Yes, I am aware. Uh, I'm sure they're working on a version for you, though. Um, because they, they've updated it a few times, and they seem, you know, they're very new. It's easier to uh, write a program for the iOS than it is for the Android, since there's only one piece of hardware you're working with uh, from one company. Uh, it, it takes longer to... Uh, to work out an Android version. Uh, but they are working on it. Hey, Meerkat, how you doing? How's the music stuff happening? Ah, feeling a sneeze. Okay, we have this on low. Um, in fact, I'm gonna just turn it off, take it off the heat for the moment. Uh, ha, ha, ha. So we have another eight minutes to go here on the chicken in the milk with onions and peppercorns. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, the blogs, again, will be up at cluffyland.com tomorrow night, uh, which will cover all four nights of our cooking United Kingdom. Uh, we started uh, last Tuesday by cooking our uh, roast beef with Yorkshire pudding and roasted uh, potatoes and other root vegetables. That came out very well. And it took us about a week to finish eating the uh, massive hunk of roast beef. Uh, then we did on Friday, we cooked uh, Northern Ireland by doing a uh, rather an unusual choice, a uh, kipper keggery. Uh, I hope I got the pronunciation right. Uh, which is an Indian uh, spiced dish, which uh, is kind of the thing in the United Kingdom and Great Britain. Apparently, the chicken tikka masala is uh, something of the national dish in the UK, uh, a dish that uh, started out as a tandoori chicken in India and uh, in allegedly in Glasgow. Uh, Scotland, but uh, that is the subject of debate, uh, got transformed into what we know as chicken tikka masala uh, by a Bangladeshi chef who uh, knew the British love of gravy and had a uh, can of tomatoes and yogurt and uh, created that dish, which in 2002 was sort of declared one of the national dishes of Great Britain. Speaking of such... In Wales, uh, I gather the traditional food was, you know, very much 
um, uh, a peasant food uh, because the uh, sort of upper class would be looking elsewhere uh, for their food um, inspirations. And uh, so unlike in other countries where the food, where the dishes start sort of with the upper class and work their way down, in this place it was sort of like the other way around. Um, uh, however, more recently, uh, Wales is, uh, although it is known, um, uh, lol, the queen just dissed your cooking. Uh, my personal cooking? Um, that would be okay. She didn't like the Chinese ambassador either. Um, the, uh, blah, 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 but however, uh, the Welsh apparently have uh, the highest levels of obesity in the uh, Great Britain, uh, apparently because of a lot of the fast food stuff, which, hey, America, you're welcome. Um... The, uh, however, uh, now Wales is uh, known as a culinary destination with, uh, was it five three-star Michelin restaurants in Wales? Uh, so that's uh, quite a thing. In fact, there's a whole page with some phenomenal uh, restaurant dishes from Wales that you can find online. Just kidding. Okay, not a problem. Um, and... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, they were really great dishes, however, again, they involved the night before, or they're very large. There's one which is a roast leg of lamb, which is an entire leg of lamb. Which sounded super delicious, but it had to cook, like, forever. And it was, you know, serves eight. You stuff it with, um, garlic and anchovies and such. So, um, it was very, you know, it's either too big or took too much, too long, like, starting the day before and such. Uh, for me to be able to cook it. So, landed on this meat pie. Holy moly. And we have four minutes to go on this side of things. As we're boiling down our, our chicken thighs and milk, uh, onions, uh, peppercorns, and bay leaves. And uh, then we have our, our puff pastry sitting over here. Uh, it was frozen. I did not make my own. And it's, oh, it was really cute. It said, roll it out to the thickness of a one pound coin. Of course, I had to go Google what is the thickness of a one pound coin, because I did not know. Um, I'm guessing it's that. So um, we've kind of opted to make small pies, two small pies as opposed to one large one, or one very large one, as the recipe would have asked. So, uh, there you go. That's right, because it said to take two 13-ounce packages of puff pastry uh, and roll it out uh, completely. And so, you know, to put one on top of the other. Uh, I'm not, this is maybe like the second time I've dealt with puff pastry in any fashion. So, haha. -ha. Um, yeah, I got them and they were already squares and I went, mm, it's going to have to do. So, uh, but then we're going to do our Welsh rare bit um, as soon as this business gets going. And uh, I guess we're going to move uh, for the, uh, while I put those together, I might as well do it here. It's easier to get a bird's eye view for the Periscope people, so let me move some stuff over. Something is telling me... Ah, okay, that's gonna wind up in here. Okay, so what's gonna happen is that the chicken's gonna come out of here, it's gonna get flaked, and it's gonna go into here. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna add uh, the milk back in here, but through a sieve to uh, get out the peppercorns and the bay leaf, and uh, that should be okay. And then we're gonna get this down to a sauce. And once that happens, it's gonna go into the uh, into the oven uh, to uh, bake in, uh, make into a pie. Without the 420 blackbirds. Uh, more meat pies, more pies. The best pies in London. What's that? Why well, it's creased. Awful lot of fat, only where it's sat. Haven't you got poet or something like that? 
Now you see the trouble with poet is how do you know it's deceased? Stick to priest. Cheers. Um, uh -huh. so one minute to go on our chicken here. And then we're going to start uh, chopping it up in here. And uh, so then the uh, flour and mustard is going to go in there. And then we're going to move you over to there while we put these together. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, very quickly, I need to put parchment paper on my baking sheet. Uh, Wales, home of illustrious individuals. Not limited to Bonnie Tyler and Tom Jones. Uh, and uh, I, I, I'm really not up on the whole British thing with the days. This, it was the St. David's Day is the thing in Wales, I gather. Uh, I saw lots of different things where people have St. David's Day dinners and such. So, okay, here we go. So you, oh, Mom, hi, Mom. Uh, okay, we're gonna move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you come over here, and we're gonna move you over here. So we're gonna take the uh, chicken out of the milk. And you come on. Okay, the chicken's out of the milk, and now I am supposed to flake it. Uh, I'm going to chop it up. Kitchen shears serve a multitude of purposes. <laughs> okay. So, once we flake our chicken, These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which we're uh, cooking in milk and onions with peppercorns and bay leaves. And, or a bay leaf, rather. So, now that we have chopped this up, but good. Uh, now, what happens? Uh, we're going to add the chicken to the pan, so um, we're going to move back. Stay. Okay, and you move back here too. Oh, I think the folk music decided to take a breather again. So uh, we've chopped the chicken up and we're going to add that to the pot with the leeks. Mm. And now that we've done that, we need to take the, hold on, cannot deal with silence. Do not do well with silence. Uh, come on. No, no, no. You, for some reason, I decided to choke on the folk music. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, sieve. So we're going to pour the milk into here through the sieve. You know what? I'm not doing it through the sieve. Uh, that's too small. I'm gonna go with the uh, colander, which is less likely to burn my face. So, here we go. And you... Okay, and that got rid of our peppercorns and uh, the bay leaf, and now uh, we're going to warm this up again. And to this we're going to add the flour, which is something like a tablespoon and a half of flour. Boom. And 
Uh, I did that in the wrong order, but that's okay. This is going to go for about two minutes uh, to let it thicken a little bit. And then we're going to add in our mustard, our Dijon mustard, which we uh, just purchased for this purpose here. And uh, I've made a grand mess of things. What is it with it does not want to play this music? It does not enjoy it. Okay, we'll do a different one. Okay, Welsh trivia. Well, see, you're not speaking, so it's going to be tricky, but um, maybe you can paste in in the comments. The name of the uh, city or town with the longest name on the planet is in Wales. It's like about a mile long. People gather around to take pictures of, of, the, of the sign name. And when I was in middle school, um, a friend of mine, neighbor girl, had to learn how to pronounce it. I believe her father, her father was British. So um, he, uh, he knew Welsh. He knew uh, English, he knew Welsh, he knew Spanish. And uh, so he taught her how to pronounce the name of it. And to this day she can and the town is, I'm, I know I'm going to miss a few um, syllables uh, in here, but I just remember the beginning, I remember the end. It's Klandaya Pluf Winga Go Geta Windoya Nogogo. I think I missed a few syllables in there, but uh, should get credit for trying. Why does it not want to play this? Okay, we'll try a different song. Okay, so. Uh, two minutes on there, and uh, let us try to thicken the sauce here, and now we're going to add the, uh, the Dijon mustard, which is about a tablespoon and a half, a teaspoon, yeah, like a teaspoon and a half of this. Uh, men of, oh boy, I can't read that. Uh, men of Harlech, stop your dreaming. Can't you see their spear points gleaming? See their warrior peasants streaming. This sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. Can't say I, I remember immediately what I know that from. Okay. Okay, mustard in. So it's curious that we have some of the same ingredients in both dishes. Again, milk, mustard, uh, Dijon uh, mustard specifically. I'm so bothered with this. Okay, we'll try another song. And so we're going to keep stirring this until it's a thick sauce. What are you making? Uh, yes, I am making a chicken and leek pie, uh, and then we're going to be making a Welsh rarebit. Uh, I'm glad I was able to see your question. Uh, this is our uh, fourth night of cooking the food of the United Kingdom, which is nation number 184 of our 193 uh, United Nations member states as are working our way in our four-year Learn to Cook Challenge as we are cooking uh, all the countries from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe. Uh, we are nearing the end. We are only um, five, six, seven, eight, eight weeks, eight weeks from the end, which is kind of hard to believe when I started this whole thing that uh, I could barely boil water. And here I've done 183, 184 countries, uh, some well over 200 dishes from every country on earth, or every United Nations member country so far. We're gonna take care of the rest of them later. Uh, sorry for the shadows, this is a kind of a white dish and the, uh, the balance on the uh, lighting is kind of weird there. But worry not, this is only for a little while longer. This needs to thicken up. And once it thickens up some, then we're gonna put it uh, into our pies and then put that in the stove. It really can't take more than another two minutes because only got so much time. Uh, see, they're, oh, I thought you're, they're, warrior, they're pennant streaming. I thought it was their 
your periscope streaming. That would be funny. Why even these? Okay. So thickening up that sauce has to be thick enough so it doesn't. It's not a big old liquid when it goes into the uh, into the pie because that would be a problem. So uh, I have this a little higher than I normally would. This has got bacon in here, uh, chicken, uh, you know, chopped chicken thighs, leeks, onions, uh, and milk, which was uh, being cooked in with onions and bay leaf and uh, black peppercorns. And again, I've uh, adapted the recipe down from one that would serve six to one that serves two. However, that means there's going to be leftover filling because that technically it serves three. So, um, I'm going to wind up having a lunch of, of filling, of pie filling. And then we're going to be making our Welsh rare bit. Okay, time's up. That's all the time we have for this. So, ready or not, here we come. Ah, this, uh, I may regret this. I may regret this. I know right now, but uh, them's the berries, as they say in French. So I have my uh, four pieces of puff pastry sitting here, and I'm really hoping I don't honk this up. Okay, so using my skills as they are. I'm going to try to get... Oh brother, I hope this works. Okay. Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be something. I can see it right now. This is going to be something else is what that's going to be. Okay. Okay, good times. Good times, okay. Mmm. See, it didn't say how much milk. So now it's going all over creation. So this could be very, very messy. And it's tilting too, which is even better. Okay. Oh, goody, goody. I really should have done this on two separate plates. Okay, here goes nothing. Let me take a picture of my embarrassment. Record it for posterity. And... So the second piece of this is gonna go on top. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Okay, you can do this. So we're going to try to crimp the edges. Ugh. Well, I do have a spatula that I can lift this with. I only had two. They're sort of like empanadas at this point. Instead of one big giant meat pie. Uh, Jones, green, green grass of home, lyric, the old town. Oh, yes, okay. Long to touch the, yes. I got that. Ow. I knew I knew it from somewhere. Ow, hot. Oh, what a mess. Oh, what a mess. Let me, can I move this? Is it too late? Oh my god. Oh, what a mess. This is not pretty. This is not pretty. Ow! See, this is supposed to be much, much bigger. My problem is getting the small squares and hoping to be able to not serve 80 million people. Okay, here's what happens. We're gonna make this work. 
We're gonna make it work. It's a real make it work moment. Okay, so this this abomination there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take what I can of this and somehow transfer that onto here. Uh, thankfully, I do have an implement which may help me. Okay. This sucker. Hopefully. Oh, brother. Mm, ow. Come on. One, two, three, go. It's like a fat ravioli. <laughs> it's kind of an I Love Lucy moment. Uh, Man of Hamlet's song was in the movie Zulu. Okay, that I did not see. Okay. This is not pretty, but it's going to have to do. I will eat that piece of chicken. Good. Okay, I'm gonna try to transfer the second one here. Oh. See, I did not think about the curved nature of this plate, in addition to other things I did not think about. I love Lucy moment. Okay. Okay. Crimping the edges is not really working for me, but there's there's what that is right there. And then and then, and then, once we take a picture of that, great gosh almighty, we're going to brush it with a uh, beaten egg. And the oven has been preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Probably doesn't look quite so bad now. But I'm gonna have to save those innards. Cause like I said, it um it served uh eight and I cut it in half. No, it served one, two, three, it served six, I cut it in half. So I knew there'd be like one third left over anyway. So Okay. Don't need the rest of you. And now onto this, we're gonna grate some Parmesan cheese. Hold on, let me take a picture of the egg on there. And now we have Parmesan cheese. We're gonna grate on top of this. Again, I apologize to anyone on, on Periscope. I don't see your comments while I'm trying to save my life here. Okay, here we go. Parmesan cheese. Being grated on top. And Now, logically, it shouldn't take as long to cook, seeing as it's much less in volume than it, uh, the rest we originally mentioned. So uh, we're going to stick that in the oven for uh, 35 to 45 minutes, but it may wind up being less in all likelihood. Um, like freedom, thank you for the like. Okay, into the oven you go. Okay, we're gonna check on on that at eight or sooner. But meanwhile, we're gonna move on uh, to our Welsh rarebit. But before I do that, um, something I don't normally do here uh, while I'm cooking, but I don't have too much of a choice. Um, uh, you know what? I am going to 
put you back over here. Because it's going to be on the stove again while we do our Welsh rare bit. And we'll be talking about that in a minute. I need to uh, prepare to save that leftover inner because I'm in, uh, normally I would not do this on camera, uh, but I'm going to need that skillet, so I don't have too much of a choice here. In you go. Have to find some way to repurpose that for lunch tomorrow. So uh, we're gonna sit that over here, let it cool off, and uh, let me wipe down this because we're gonna be using this uh, to do the Welsh rare bit. So give me one minute here. Okay, so a Welsh rare bit coming right up. Uh, Welsh rare bit is uh, R A R E B I T. Um, the history of it, and it's basically a cheese spread on toast. Uh, that's the, that's kind of odd in and of itself in, in, in my book, uh, especially that I'd be cooking a cheese spread. Uh, however, from what I gather, and I know I'm probably going to get this wrong, is that there was a certain amount of, I'm going to move my um, prep stuff over here for this, a certain amount of ironing in naming the dish uh, because it was called the Welsh rabbit but apparently due to uh, geography and what have you uh, there would not be rabbits to be had in uh, Wales uh, to be hunted uh, so it was uh, something of a dig uh, to that end uh, the name was changed from rabbit to rare bit, which I guess is more of a Welsh pronunciation, um, and uh, hence the Welsh rare bit. We have our our prep over here. We're melting our butter for this uh, in our still warm skillet, and uh, somewhere in here. Okay, hold on. Made quite a mess of things over here. But I'm sparing you from having to watch the joy of uh, me washing the dishes. Okay. You go away. Okay. Now, while we are melting our butter for our Welsh rarebit, uh, we're doing this on low heat, uh, but then we're going to blend in a number of different things for this. So i got to get my camera ready. Uh, while that melts, I'm going to uh, very quickly put my uh, cheese back in the back in the fridge. Come on. Okay, melting the butter. Butter melting. So this is what? Uh, this is the one that was one, uh, like one and a half tablespoons. Again, I've cut this recipe in half. Uh, I can only handle so much in the way of leftovers, which has been a problem with me since step one. Uh, but now I'm okay with having a certain amount of leftovers, so there's that. So here goes. Now we're going to add in to this our flour, which is, I think, what, about two tablespoons of flour? And then we're going to add salt. And our 
pepper. And our mustard, very little mustard. Which is one reason I have my knife here. Because it's such a wee little bit of mustard. It's more of it's, I knew this was going to happen. More of it was going to stick to the bowl. Okay, you know what? You're being that way. You're just going to be that way, aren't you? Booey. You know what? Screw it. Who cares if it's exact? There. Mustard. And uh, then we're adding our Worcestershire. 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 Say it like a Brit. Worcestershire sauce. Uh, and uh, what happens next? Uh, yes, and of all things, uh, hot pepper sauce. We've got Tabasco sauce. We're going to add a couple drops of that. One. Two. And we're going to mix this up. Something tells me. Something doesn't quite seem right here. Until it's smooth and bubbly, eh? Well, I'm not getting smooth and bubbly out of this, but that might be because I cut it in half. There isn't a whole lot of smooth happening here. More like pasty, but ugh, again with this. This iTunes does not, uh, Apple Music did not enjoy that album. My my delish. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you see. Uh, I'm, I'm trusting you. You would know more than I would on this. Uh, well, I'm not getting smooth and bubbly out of this, so I'm just gonna keep moving on here. Um, uh, I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna move on, and I'm gonna slowly add in this milk. Slowly. Was it slowly? Yes, it was gradually. Gradually stirring in the milk. This is not a container for this kind of pouring. Something tells me I should have used a smaller vessel for this. I don't know if it's too late to switch. Who are we looking at here? Hi, 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 who are we looking at? Arnold's, greetings. And you're making our Welsh rarebit. Bedtime. Okay, well sleep well, Derek. Uh, catch you later. Thank you, as always, for being uh, a faithful follower. So we're adding our milk, and uh, now we're going to slowly stir in our beer. This really feels like it's too big a vessel. It just is. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that I really should switch. I'm feeling like, like I should switch. This doesn't seem right. So I'm, I'm gonna make the executive decision here to switch out because it seems too big. Uh, this happens a lot when I cut the recipes in half. It doesn't happen with the music always stopping. Nah. Come on, baby. Be good. Be good. Okay. Okay. 
Now we're gonna add in our beer. Slowly add our beer. Yes. Oh, now it smells like beer. Go beer. This is gonna be like a cheese spread, in case you're wondering. Um, oh, I smell beer. That smells good. This may actually work out, now that I switched. So, once it does that, uh, I need to do this very low heat because uh, the cheese is going to need to incorporate, but very slowly. Just started watching, uh, what did you add before mustard? Oh golly, okay, with the Welsh rarebit, we started out uh, with butter. Uh, and then we blended in the flour, salt, pepper, mustard, then the Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce and hot pepper sauce. That's a Tabasco type stuff. And, uh, and then uh, we added in the milk and the beer. We're trying to get this uh, somewhat smooth. Uh, the, I did mention flour. Yes, I did. That was the first thing I added. Um, again, if you are new, this is uh, night four of cooking the food of the United Kingdom, which is country number 184 of our 193 country four year learn to cook challenge as we uh, started in 2012 with Afghanistan, working our way through to cook the food of every United Nations member state. We are nearing the end here. Uh, with the uh, United Kingdom doing Wales, uh, we broke with tradition by cooking uh, on four separate nights here because of the uh, unique nature of uh, all this. Uh, United Kingdom being four separate countries and one United Nations member state. Uh, but this is Wales, country four. Uh, everything is up, will be up on the blog on cliffyland.com uh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night and uh, if you would like to see anything about the countries that you've missed uh, feel free to check out the blog and you can see for yourself how everything has been going up until this point. Uh, now I'm adding the uh, cheddar cheese. This is specifically Welsh cheddar cheese uh, which is very cool that I, was, that I found Welsh cheddar cheese in the uh, grocery store. So I'm slowly adding and melting the cheddar cheese as I go here. And then I'm going to put the toast, in the bread, the piece of sourdough bread in the uh, toaster to toast right before I go to serve. Okay, adding some more of the cheese. Uh, this is about uh, a quarter pound of cheese. So it's more cheese than anything else. So we're melting the melty cheese. Uh, I grated the cheese in the food processor earlier. Uh, in the oven, we have um, our quote-unquote pies, uh, which are uh, chicken and leek pies. Uh, it should have been a big pie, but you know I have uh, a manner, a number of issues, not the least of which is I'm back. I'm only cooking for two people, and uh, I'm not that well versed in uh, the uses of puff pastry. So uh, I decided to do two small pies instead of one large one. Uh, so they got look like small pies, but that's okay. It's all gonna be okay. They, uh, it was uh, the chicken thighs were boiled in milk with uh, chopped onions and uh, bay leaf and peppercorn, peppercorns, and then the uh, they were taken out and chopped up and put into 
uh, a pan in which we had fried up some bacon and leeks and added our milk back into that, uh, strained to get rid of the peppercorns and the bay leaf, and then put into a pot, uh, I'd rather put onto the uh, puff pastry, which uh, leaked all over creation. They look like two giant raviolis, but that's okay. Uh, we brushed that with the um, uh, beaten egg and grated Parmesan cheese on top. And this is our Welsh rarebit, which is going to be our sort of our cheese spread, which is going to be served on top of toast points or toast in any case. We lost absolutely everyone from Periscope now. Um, again, when we finish uh, with Zimbabwe at the end of July, uh, we are going to be doing a couple bonus countries. They're not United Nations member states. Uh, countries slash territories slash disputed lands. They're going to be, uh, and then we'll also be doing Puerto Rico, which is my people. Then get the family coming over. We can have a big uh, wingding. And... Then uh, we're going to go away for a little while and continue. Uh, then we're going to start on phase two. Phase two, which will be uh, live streaming also, but instead of Meerkat, it's going to be on Busker, which hopefully by then will be on Android as well as iOS. Uh, we will continue on Periscope. And uh, we may also post the videos on NOM. N-O-M, NOM. Hey, honey. Hello. Um... And, uh, but we're gonna be, instead of blogging then, we'll be making short form videos, which are gonna give you like a four minute look at uh, the recipe and the night's uh, streaming. Uh, we will be working away our way again uh, from A to Z, uh, from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe, but in that case, only doing one night a week, uh, doing a sort of a redemption situation. <laughs> Seeing uh, what I did, uh, what I'd like to do again, what I didn't get a chance to do before, and uh, on any given second night of, of uh, streaming, we will be doing the 50 United States, and on any given possible third night in a week, we will be doing a cuisine of a region at random, which will be in part selected by the viewership. If there's a certain, you know, region or country or part of a country or a dish that you'd like to see uh, tried, uh, I will welcome suggestions. Although I mean, so I take them all, and uh, then we'll be uh, doing those, posting them. Thank you for the follow, Allison. Um, again, you can follow on Periscope, you can follow on Meerkat, and you can follow on the blog at cliffyland.com. That's a Tumblr, if you're wondering. You didn't mention Pinterest. Yeah, yeah, but we're also going to be on, we're also on Facebook, on, uh, Twitter, on Tumblr, on Instagram, and on Pinterest, and on YouTube. It would be really great if uh, people went and subscribed to the YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and search for Cliffy Land and subscribe. This looks like brains. Uh, this is brains! Looks like must, a mustard sauce. Must have brains. Well, there's mustard in there. So, um, this is going to be leftovers for moi. I need to do something with that. Oh my. You'll see why. Is it a mistake? No, not particularly a mistake. It's uh, a necessary byproduct. Thank you, Allison, for the like. Uh, we have, wow. Uh, let's, uh, I'm going to look in the oven here and see how that's going. I'm going to turn this down even more. Wow, that looks cool. That actually looks like something cool. Wow. The only question is on the timing. Uh, since it's supposed to be one big pie, um, I'm not really sure how long the uh, that has to bake. Uh, I was figuring another 15 minutes or so, which means this is just going to sit here for 15 minutes. 
Which means I could be doing that if you need to be doing something else. Just getting the recycling okay. ready for tomorrow morning. Because uh, right now we're kind of in a holding pattern. Well, we wait, we let this bubble. Uh, this is going to be drizzled onto the toast. Then the meat pies are going to be served. Uh, and then it's going to be dinner. No green vegetable here. Hope the oven is not cool. Uh, no, and the oven is doing fine. It's actually very, very hot, which is not helping me because it's been very, very hot outside. It has been uh, in the upper 80s today here in South Florida. This morning, at 5 o'clock in the morning in the dark when I went out to run, it was already 80 degrees with something like 80% humidity, which was not fun for me. Do my little 10 miler. Uh, but uh, I, 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 my natural state of affairs is to complain about weather in Florida between May and uh, December. So prepare for many months of me whining. Just letting you know. Uh, I love Florida. Yeah, I love Florida from December to March. Maybe into April. Then I don't love Florida. I mean, all these people saying, Oh my God, it's snowing. I can't believe it's snowing up. And I'm thinking, what I would like to... I, I would like to have that problem right now. We saw a little bit of snow in April. Where? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Columbus. Yeah, yeah, in April we were here... And I was complaining about the heat, and then the next morning we got on a plane, went to Columbus, Ohio, where we used to live, and there was snowing, and then came back within 24 hours yes. and back to the 90 degree temperatures. So that was bananas. That was bananas. So I need some water. It is hot. It is hot. How hot is it? It's so hot the statues have armpit stains. It's that hot. Ah, and standing over the stove, over the oven. And that's just really, mwah, it is. Ah, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing, people? Okay, so, you know, this is the last night of the United Kingdom. Again, we did Friday, last, no, last Tuesday. This is the only time we've done one country over a week and a half because of extenuating circumstances. Uh, but we did uh, England a week ago today. We did our roast beef with, uh, what was it, the Yorkshire pudding and ro uh, roasted uh, root vegetables, which was very, very good, and gave us leftovers for a whole week. Uh, then on Friday, did Northern Ireland doing a Kipper's Kegri, Kijri. Uh, which is a, sort of like a rice dish, a curry rice dish with uh, kippered herring, and that was from a restaurant in Belfast. Somebody uh, it came on the screen was like, "I'm from the UK. We don't have that dish." And I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. You just it came from a restaurant there. Trust me." Um, and then on Sunday we did uh, Scotland. And for that, we did a chicken, Balmoral chicken, which was a chicken breast stuffed with, a, would have been haggis. About you, uh, haggis is illegal in the United States. So we had to stuff it with the innards of a pork sausage and wrap it in bacon and then bake that. And we served that with, holy, what did we serve that with? I, I've lost my mind now. No, served it with something. Uh... What did uh, I the turnips and potatoes. Oh yes, that's right. Clap, clap shot, which was uh, mashed potatoes and mashed turnips with uh, chives, and uh, so that came out okay. Though it was heavy as all get out. Um, still working that one through my system, and uh, and then uh, today we are finishing up with whales and our chicken and leek pie, which is in the oven right now, and whoopsie, and it's ready. Dinner's ready. Oh no. Yeah, surprise. It's ready. 
It's ready, it's ready. Since they were smaller, they got cooked faster. So, uh, I need, don't want them to burn. And I know the chicken is cooked, so that's not an issue. Yeah, I thought this might affect the time. Whoa, there you go. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Three. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that right there. Look at that right there. Those are a whole lot prettier than they started out, let me tell you what. Uh, yes, indeed they are. Also, my hands are burning. Um, what do you need? Uh, do I have that big, uh, this? No. Uh, the, uh, um, that. This thing here. This? Yeah, that. Thank you. It's a technical name. It's called this thing here. Okay. So. Whoa! Whoopsie doopsie. Didn't make my toast. Okay. So. Pie number one. Ow! Pie number two. These are little pillows. You can see your dirty pillows. And for this, uh, you go that way. You are going to move. That goes over here. You are going to move to our plating station. Over here. And you can come over here. While we wait for our toast to finish. This looks good. Like I said, normally this would be one big pie, one big meat pie, um, one actually very big meat pie if I was going to go from the original recipe. Um, and I basically took it down to a fraction of it and wound up making two. So, uh, so this is our chicken and leek pie and I'm waiting on my toast to finish toasting. So we can, yow, uh, so we can eat. Uh, that's going to be our Welsh rarebit, the Welsh rarebit being uh, a cheese spread, basically, uh, which is uh, Welsh cheddar, uh, mix it with just flowers, salt and pepper, Dijon mustard, beer, and milk. That's what this is right here. Doesn't like something down there. We'll take care of it. You go off. Okay, we're waiting on toast. Is it toast yet? Okay. Try to serve it with a spoon. And uh, toast. Come on, toast. So again, this is our Welsh rarebit right here. Right there. And, uh, oh, no wonder. Cancel. Bake. Cancel. Okay. Toast it anyway. So we got toast, and we got more toast. And on to you. We're going to drizzle the cheese. <clears throat> it feels like it should have like parsley or something. It looks so monochromatic. Thank you. Yeah, I did not get any sort of guidance on the uh, the shape of the uh, of the toast. Just thinking like toast points, cut it a little smaller, but hey, I don't know. Goes into Welsh choral music in case you're wondering. So this is on sourdough. I don't know how Welsh that is, but uh, it's what we had. And I was not gonna bake bread. Baking bread is not my strong suit. And I'm gonna find a way to eat that 
later. But uh, that is as odd as it seems. You know what? Um, I'm going to cut one of these open. I'm going to cut one of these open and see if uh, it photographs any better. Uh, should I cut it open long ways? See which one is a better, better shot. Clean that up. See, see if which one photographs better. Yep. That was bad. My plating skills are zero, in case you're wondering. These things should be on separate plates, but, you know. One of these two will be the picture that winds up being used. So, I'm gonna take pictures of, I, of, of both. Okay, you... and you. Okay, that does it. Uh, here we have our chicken and leek pie. We have one cut open for you there. One not yet cut open with our Welsh rarebit, which is the uh, cheese spread on the sourdough. A healthy meal. Uh, so that does it for United Kingdom and uh, in this case, Wales. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for being here on Meerkat. Thank you for being here on Periscope. Remember to check out the blog uh, Wednesday, that's tomorrow, uh, at cliffyland.com. Thank you, Ms. Lee. Wow, thank you so much. Um, so uh, tomorrow at uh, cliffyland.com, we'll have everything about all four nights of the United Kingdom, England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Uh, information about the countries, links to the original recipes, uh, links to these videos right here, information about the countries, reviews, how everything went. You can catch up on the countries that you missed. And look for us next week when we attempt to tackle the United States of America. What? No! How can you do that? So we're going to figure that one out. Um, and so check that out. USA. Next week. Um, till then... Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you later. And thank you. Be well. Happy eating. Ta.